Howdy, howdy, welcome back. Jeff Moody here, Jeff Moody MD, jeffmoodymd.com, jeffmoody.com. The fit doctors burned out on physician's guide to recovery. This is your weekly video tips when we're talking about burnout. So our topic this week, what is the ROI of physician wellness? Like, wait, 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 you might say, what's ROI? ROI is a financial term, return on investment. So, um, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, um, medicine has become a business and as a physician or as physicians, we exist within that system, within that business. Um, there are definitely um, those around us who would like to maximize our productivity. Um, if you work for yourself, you would like to do that for yourself. If you work for others, um, uh, they want to maximize your productivity. Um, so uh, the, the, the as far as wellness goes or burnout, the, I think the, the question always is, how what's if we invest x y or z time money resources programs um consultants so those types of things in burnout what will our return on that investment be and um if strictly if you look at um uh physician wellness and burnout from a financial standpoint we know that replacing a physician t typically takes about five to ten times their annual salary and and, um, and you might say that's crazy that can't possibly be true but if you start talking about all the lost productivity the costs are with hiring a new person the amount of time it takes to ramp them back up to where the previous physician was training issues licensure moving all of those things uh, it is fairly easily five to ten times the uh, salary so you're talking maybe you know uh, two million to five million dollars or more uh, for um, replacing a physician who becomes burned out uh, separate from that if you start talking about um, uh, what are the what are the returns on a um, a scribe uh, to help you with your uh, uh, dealing with your electronic medical record or um, a physician wellness program having time off um, having uh, call coverage or night coverage or night floats or or, or um, uh, she doing a job sharing all those types of things I think you always have to look at um, what is the expenditure and then what is the uh, the return and because many things in medicine now can fortunately unfortunately be quantitated we can look at productivity so one of the tr one of the easiest trade-offs that i always feel like is um hiring a scribe or hi having someone help kind of wrangle your emr so you can be free to do the mental work um and the physician um, job part of your job and let someone else handle the clerical and the uh, note-taking and record-keeping aspects of the job not that those aren't important but those can definitely be handed off to someone as long as you, they're overseen by you so for example um, a, a scribe may be a twenty to thirty thousand uh, dollar per year expense um, and if you do the math that works out to maybe one patient per day um, from an, uh, a productivity standpoint to cover that scribe but the um, the back end, and what I always like to look at is what are the what are the back end um, benefits of having that scribe? Well, you may get home an hour or two, you know, earlier every day. You may have eliminate your pajama time, you know, work, uh, all of your work on your EMR uh, that you do at nights and on the weekends, and um, you may be allowed to, you know, then you start to get into more of the intangible benefits um, to your self and your life and your family. Uh, better fitness, more time for fitness, better nutrition, uh, better time and more time with your family, your spouse, your kids, um, uh, regaining and claiming back some of that life that you had. So strictly from a financial standpoint, uh, it's an absolute uh, no-brainer. It's a, it's a win. But what we're trying to do is give you back your life um, uh, by, and making sure that is is a productive uh, return on investment up front. It becomes a a multiple of that investment uh, going forward from a quality of life and uh, even career standpoint if you practice for five or ten years longer with a scribe than if you would have kind of quit and discussed you know what's that worth to yourself to your community to your hospital system um, to your bottom line so um, the return on investment for physician wellness is I think five or ten X at least and from a life and happiness standpoint it's <laughs> nearly infinite so um, Hopefully that's helpful, and if you need more information, uh, please contact us, jeffmoody.com, jeffmoodymd.com. Um, remember, burnout recovery is for you.